What's up guys, Chris here, and welcome to another very exciting video. You know those cats that follow you on every hunt, right? They're called Palico. You know those little fellas. Today, we show you how to make Savage Devil Joe your Palico. Well, kind of. You know, Capcom doesn't want you to make Savage Devil Joe your Palico, obviously, since he is way too overpowered to be on the side of the hunter. But they have given us tools. Capcom has given us a lot of tools that we can use to change that. So guys, here is our video which will show you how Savage will do literally the entire quest for us on his own. He will single-handedly hunt a Dolgoran for us. All we do is lean back and watch him absolutely smash a Dolgoran into oblivion. We show you the multiplayer version. But we also did the exact same thing solo, and there Savage Joe completed the Odogoran quest in literally 9 minutes single-handedly for us, but I'll show you more of that later. Here we set up the first turf war between them by using a challenge amount to lure them in the same area and making them engage, and then switch to Gilly Manto to make sure they focus on each other and leave us alone. Meanwhile, we can just chillax and watch the show. Here we can see the first damage number. 829. Wow, Joe! Well done, man! I'm gonna be quiet for a while so you guys can just enjoy the entertainment. The first turf war has ended, and Savage has dealt a total of 8,289 damage. That's insane. So we're taking a quick three minutes break, you know, get some snacks, and uh, in the meantime, the cooldown for the turf wars is going down, because there's always like a certain amount of cooldown until the monsters can engage with each other again. So I'm speeding up the footage a little bit. Once the break is over and the snacks are all gone, our challenger and Gilly Mantle will be back again. Time to go back down again and let's make Savage Palico hunt some more Dogron for us, shall we? Let's see how much damage he will be able to deal with the next Turf War. Will it be the same amount of 8289 again? I wanna let you guys see for yourself. Wow, dude, we're at almost 20k damage. And we haven't even used our weapon yet. Let's get some snacks while we're waiting in the base camp. And meanwhile, let me show you guys the skills that we are using. Defense boost, earplugs, wide range, iron skin, tremor resistance, health boost, speed eating, tool spec, marathon runner, divine blessing, recovery up, and free meal. These skills just make it a lot smoother for us. However, what we are doing here would also work without most of these skills. The mantles are really the most important thing. Alright, time to head down. As we saw before, most of his attacks while he has a Dolgoran in his mouth deal 829 damage. Some of them 414 and 1244 for the final big hits. Here however, we can see Devil Joe dealing exactly 500 damage and this is because he is attacking a Dolgoran with a regular hit for the first time which is not while the Dolgoran is in his mouth and thus it deals 500. With the first turf war, Savage dealt 8,289 damage and the second time it was 11,192. Now let's see how much damage Joe will do this time.
27,028 damage. That means the third turf war only was 7,547 damage. A lot less than last time. But that means if everything goes well, we need only one last turf war and that's it. So we're getting some snacks one last time and we are ready to head back to our turf war loving savage palico. We now need him to deal about 10k damage that would nail it. That's it, Odogron is finished. We could cap him away one last time. Go Savage, go! Thirty eight thousand six hundred and thirty three damage. That's it. Capture ready. Cooks has the trap ready to catch a Doguron where he wants to run away. We did it. Well, Savage Joe, you did it, buddy. I'm so proud of you, man. He should be officially accepted by the Hunters Guild as official Palico so he can accompany the Hunters on their adventures. Please, Capcom, make it happen. <laughs> Here you can even see that this works solo too. Michi did the exact same experiment in a solo hunt and he was able to complete the Odogron quest under 10 minutes by just watching Savage Devil Joe and Acidic Lavinos beat the shit out of Odogron. Really funny, here it's even a tempered Odogron who goes down in below 10 minutes. This is so fun guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We have many more cool videos planned so stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.